through the dura, pay attention to how it dips in between the cracks. That's going to be something that I'll present in the next class period. See how that dura mater basically extends down the longitudinal fissure and even between the cerebrum and the cerebellum. Right here, you got to be careful. So just keep make that yeah. mental note for next class. Goodness. You leave this on there, right? Yeah, yeah. Leave that. Leave I don't the... want to mess this up. This is the part that's going to be messed up. You just okay, take the scissors with that and have the dura, cut the that. And so, yeah. Prepa formaldehyde. Mm -hmm. Smell. So when you say you have meningitis, it's one of those three layers that became inflamed. And because it's right next to the brain, anytime that that becomes inflamed, it's going to push on the brain. And that's going to cause all kinds of bad issues. Am I going slow? Uh, that one has three. Uh, so no, like you're, you're good. As you're it, I just don't want to break anything. Sort of mesh that's what about this? This too? Uh, you might want to ask him about that. Because sort of I don't know. Do you do this as well? This part? Oh. Wow. Now, I don't be want to careful break with that. Yeah, go ahead and use this one and try to keep it on here. That way you don't have to clean up yeah. as much. Here, let me show you how to do that for this guy. So, like here. See how I said pay attention to how it dips in there? Mm -hmm. So see how it actually dips in between here and the cerebellum as well. So you can just keep making these cuts just carefully. Peel that guy like that. And then you'll cut that midline and then you start peeling it that way. Formaldehyde smell. What is that? The formaldehyde was what's preserved in. I'm just slow. 